A web of smells wafts through the night air. Each carries a precise chemical message. An hour after sundown, the provision flower broadcasts an aromatic advertisement to pollinators. But its drifting fragrance also attracts profiteers. Kinkajus are sometimes known as honey bears. They cannot resist the sweet nectar pooled at the base of the petals. The only way it can get to the nectar is to ruin the flower. It's of no help at all to the provision tree. The flower's real allies come by air. Long-tongued bats are drawn to the nectar by its sweet scent. As they drink, a dusting of pollen sticks to special hair scales and then fertilizes other provision flowers the bats visit. Provision flowers wilt as the dark hours wane. The kinkajou mother is strictly nocturnal. Natural signals that herald daybreak urge a return to her treetop nest hole. This haven is vital protection from dangerous daylight hunters such as eagles. It is also a safe place to nurture her baby who depends on her daytime presence to stock up. Energy-rich nectar from the provision flower reaches the infant through her milk. The baby will remain in close contact with its mother for at least six months, developing acute senses and grasping claws which will prepare it for future leaps in the dark. For now, there's plenty of time to sleep off a full tummy. <laughs> 